House Study Bill 504 would require people to complete an identity authentication process in order to receive public assistance benefits from the Department of Human Services. Some of the benefits include supplemental nutrition assistance and supplemental security income. Representative Schuyler Wheeler says incorrect use of public assistance funds harm the state. Uh, we're just trying to verify that people are who they say they are. Uh, we have a couple things that have happened. We were fined a couple million dollars. We had a 12 percent error rate on our SNAP payments and some of that you know was overpayment, some of it was underpayment. State Representative Democrat Chris Hall says while some people may try to take advantage of the state's assistance programs, most of these programs reach the right people. There are very few instances of fraud and most importantly programs like SNAP, uh, they generally reach single parents and children. Jean Logan is the executive director of the Community Action Agency of Siouxland. She says the bill creates a disadvantage for people who need these programs. You're already in a terrible situation probably anyway, and these are programs that are there when you need them. They, they should be easy to, to be obtained. People in need sometimes don't have the documentation needed to apply for these programs, and Republican State Senator Jeff Taylor says this legislation needs to find a balance between security and accessibility. I support the intent. We don't want fraudulent uh, applications where people are, are taking money from those who genuinely need it, but at the same time, we just don't want to set the bar too high or make it too difficult for those in genuine need. This bill was part of a package lawmakers tried to pass last year, but failed. The bill still has to be approved by the Senate Committee. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.